Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us at the Cedar Culture Podcast. I'm Gary, this is Eric, and today we are going to enjoy the My Father Cigar, The Judge. We each have two different sizes. We'll get into that, and while we're smoking, we're going to be talking about how the coronavirus has impacted our lives and, and all the craziness. So, here we go. Let's bundle these leaves and burn them and suck on them. All right, welcome back. So, really excited to smoke this one, the judge. Really, it's interesting that uh, we have two different sizes here, too. Um, mine did not say what size it was. But through my best approximation and research, uh, I think it's a, a Corona Gorda, which uh, depending, that even varied in sizes depending on what site I looked at. But um, Corona Gorda, My Father the Judge, not box pressed. And I point that out because a lot of times they are box pressed. What right. do you have? I have the Grand Corona, which is a box press, which is a 5x60, 60, 60 gauge. But Grand I'll tell Robusta. You, what did I say? Grand Corona. Grand Robusta. I took the Corona from you. Um, and. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I said that. It made me laugh. <laughs> but it, it, it's a big stick, but it's box pressed, so I'm, I'm excited. But yeah, they're typically box pressed, and I have, I believe, that exact size, but I did not bring that today. And you like the judge. It's one of your favorite sticks. Yeah. Um, I have not had the judge. I've had this is your first judge? That's my first judge. I've had several of my father's, but it's my first judge. Uh, so I'm excited since I think, did you say this is your favorite? Um, so far out of the, uh, out of, yeah. Followed by the uh, the number one, the the original right afterwards. All right. So let's get into it. Let's do it. I was worried that the box press sixty was gonna. I'm gonna take off my ribbon because I know I'll forget. I'll forget and light it. I've uh, got a really nice draw. Mine's a really like easy draw, but not too easy. Mine's Mine, open. It's, it's really open. So what are you getting on the uh, dry draw? Well, it's funny because we smelled them before we started, right? And mm -hmm. yours has such a stronger mm -hmm. flavor or smell right. uh, than mine does. And I would say the dry draw is similar to the to the smell where it's it's pretty mild. Um, it's some of the standard kind of fare, some some dried fruit and stuff, but nothing nothing's hit me in the I face. I get a nice dry sweetness. I mean, like it's it's really cool. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to smoke it again. So I should drop my lighter. Let's do it. Some nice smoke. It's funny, before we started like actively describing cigars, I rarely said leather, but that first that first uh, draw, like leather. Like that's yeah. what I get. I get like a I'm getting a, are you getting smell. any spice? Yeah. I'm getting more of um, not a ton of spice, but more spice than I expected. So before we start talking a little bit, and as, as we're kind of letting the cigar open up a little bit and start to enjoy the first third, really funny anecdote. I don't know if I had even told you this one before. I think I did, but I thought it was hysterical. So um, the tobacco shop that I go to, the, the brick and mortar, it's, it's a tobacco shop. It's you know, mostly cigars, but it, it's I wouldn't call it an upscale cigar shop either. Um, and the first time I had walked in there when I didn't know anything and mm -hmm. the guy – and I ask him for some advice, and he tells me, he, he points out, he grabs one of, the, of my father's stick, and he gives it to me, and he says, he says to me, he goes like, oh, this is very good, my father makes it. And it was mixed in with some of the other cigars that he had recommended. I bought like, I don't know, three or five cigars that day. And I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it stuck out, even at a time before, you know, I didn't save bands, I didn't take pictures of sticks, I didn't know it anything i didn't know the difference between a long filler and a short filler um you know this was my first foray in the cigars and he um so, so when i go back that stuck in my head though and i i asked him i said can you get me one of the cigars that your dad makes <laughs> and uh, that's, that's fantastic but the thing that pissed me off is that he looked at me like i was crazy and i didn't connect the dots until like a month later when i learned that my father's you know cigars and right. kind of where it was in their humidor and i was like oh this is that's definitely what it was, it was my father but when i said can you get me one of the i don't know when i said get me one of the cigars and you know that you recommend my father's cigars to people he should have known he should have. i still blame him but i looked stupid i i now in retrospect hearing that i think like a quote on the back of our shirt should be like can i have a can i have a cigar that your dad makes <laughs> can i have that cigar your dad makes um so how did he, did he answer you did he say anything no he looked at me like i was an idiot and then he gave me a completely different cigar like and he knew he was giving me a different cigar he had he just had no idea what i was even talking about and so he just just yeah. got hit with like two really uh good hits of spice this last these last two 
But it's funny, like, when you talk about spice in a cigar, you expect harshness. And it's like just flavor and spice, and it lingers. Like I don't know with you, but like it's on my tongue. Like that, it is lingering, that, that and I'm getting like a, definitely you know a black pepper. Mm-hmm. It's a really smooth amount of spice. I'm not getting a lot of other flavors yet out of it though, but I know it's going to continue to open up and, and everything as as you smoke it. So we're sitting here, man, in the middle of a pandemic. Um, I don't know. Well, I don't. I guess we don't know if it's the middle of the pandemic. Um, it I could be the first. It could be the first quarter. It could be the first. Uh, you I know, was hoping we were at the tail end. Ten percent. I mean, um, and so we're gonna have a lot to talk about because you. I was dating somebody going into the pandemic, and I live alone, and we're no longer dating. So that made an interesting twist in the sure. pandemic. You are in education and have three kids yeah, that are now, and your wife works too. Yeah. So it's 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 insanity. It's so, insanity. So we're how long? About two weeks back into the school year. Mm-hmm. What uh, what's been going on? Uh, for you, I don't even know how your days work because um, I know you get done at, at a reasonable hour because you're in right. education. Right. Fortunately, uh, well, not fortunately, but you're not a teacher, so you don't necessarily you're not like grading papers at right, night. And right. kind of, so you've got a pretty nice schedule. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it could be much worse. And it could then, be much worse. And then you go home from school, and you've got three you know, a working wife and three kids who need help with their school. What is that like for? I mean, do, do you do you like linger in the parking lot at school for a little bit before you come home? Does it I take an extra ten minutes before you get home? I try to gauge, and I think some of the, the married people out there will, will will kind of connect with this. I gauge how the day is going. I try to stay in touch with everybody throughout the day. Uh, I'm that sappy dad that you know tries to do a FaceTime call for my kids in the morning. I leave everyone's asleep, you know. Uh, I leave between six twenty five and six thirty five. Um, so you know, it's hard. I got to get up and walk the dog and do all that. But ten times harder is my wife's role, who's trying to, you know, continue to run her her business and run work, and try to navigate three kids who are on remote learning, which is the fancy term for sitting in front of their computer while they're <laughs> not teachers. doing Minecraft or right. whatever the and kids that's do the, these I mean, days. Right. And and it, it is, and it's funny because afterwards they've been in front of a computer eight hours. They they want to can can we play and do this? I'm like, don't you want to go outside? Yeah. Has there been any change there? Like. Uh, like, do kids want to play more than they used? To, like, uh, I can you tell you, this? we do rec so- we do rec soccer for for our town, and seeing them do that, they're just so like they're a practice now with my wife, God bless her, and um, seeing them run and play and be kids again is just it's it's, it's sappy to say, but it's beautiful. Like to see them just run and and kick and weird that some of them are in masks and the refs are in masks and all that, but. Um, but the remote learning is, you know, and we're we're remote till January, so we have, you know, we have months to go if if going back at all for my for my children. But um, and they're young, you know. I have a kindergartner, so I mean, kindergarten on the computer, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, it uh, is. second grader and, and not playing Oregon Trail. Exactly. Oh, they didn't get to die of <laughs> dysentery, and I think everyone should at least. I feel like months. we were playing that in like kindergarten. Oh yeah. I feel. I feel like that was. Cause we had, I think we we know not in kindergarten there was in like, elementary school not in kindergarten. And there was like one computer in the class. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about in kindergarten. There was like four, or five or how right? But um, but in elementary school definitely. Yeah, we were, we were playing Oregon Trail. And then so think about that one cl- one computer in the classroom. And then I remember getting to high school and like internet technology. My junior or senior year was like the first year they were running this internet class, you know, and there was no. Firewalls or no, you know, band I took that sites. Class, dude, it was crazy. I I took that class. It was it was. This is great. I took. I don't know how Senior. we got here. I took two of them. I took I, I I took level one and level two for for computers typing or whatever because it was just you know it was an easy class and and incredibly valuable class. So like arguably one of the more valuable classes. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I can tell you I used me being pretty proficient at typing is yeah. far more valuable to me than being proficient in. Sex Geometry. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think either of us. Are I don't right. put that to, to, to the test very often. <laughs> Geometry or sex ed? Sex ed. <laughs> Both? I don't know. <laughs> no. All right. So, um, I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> but, um, have you have you taken a puff in a while? Because those yeah. that 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 real big hit of pepper kind of subsided, and it's like smooth and nutty and creamy and yeah. Good. I'm getting that too. I mean, my father just makes it's a not my dad, not my your dad. Father, I heard your dad's really a, dad a tobacco. Yeah, really. Um, yeah, so you're right. I'm getting far more creamy, 
uh, creamily. I'm getting far more creamily. I'm getting far more velvetish. Uh, I'm getting a little, <laughs> a little creamily and velvetish. Satanishas. Um, it's, uh, it's it's great. It's cedar culture where we're creamily and creamily. Something like. I don't even know. Velvetish. Satinish. Sat satinish. Um, the satinish tobacconist. That's awesome, man. So I'm excited to um, let it get into to, to continue let it develop through the first third, um, and let's come back in the second third and see how it uh, has progressed from there. Perfect. All right, so welcome back for the second third, halfway through the stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, the judge came with comes with two bands, bigger bands. Comes with a bigger main band and a bigger secondary band. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking my second band off now. You just took yours off. Super yours is a little shorter than mine, so you you got there first. Short and Shorter. Fat. Damn, I just burnt my finger while I was taking the band off, too. Can't blame that one on me. No, that's all me. I burn your finger in other ways. <laughs> I burn my finger in other ways. I'll tell you what, though. For a, for a 60 ring gauge, I'm really impressed um, with the comfort in my hand and in my mouth. Like, the box press really makes it, it comfortable because most 60 gauges, your jaw hurts. You it's know, too big for me. You can take it swiftly, but it's too much for me. Uh, the media noche is, is like those, yeah. those huge... Freaking. Well, and that's I sent you that picture of the uh, the flathead seven seventy. It's like I don't know what yeah. I'm smell. Like that's going to be a three hour like cigar. I it's, know. It's crazy. Um, it's yeah. I don't know. It's funny. We were just talking, kind of in between. We got a little sidetracked before, but I was. I didn't tell you this. I wanted to to, to hold on to it, but um, we were talking. We were joking about like uh, computer class and stuff, and that's when AOL Instant Messenger was getting mm -hmm. big, and I had a girlfriend that went to a different school. And at her school, it was, I don't know, you could just sign yourself out. It was weird. I don't know. So she she was messaging. She's in computer class. I'm in computer class at the same time. And Did we you were, take computer class because she took computer class? She was in a different school. Like I know. But no. Oh, no, 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 no. Just no. And so, and so we would always, you know, direct message or whatever through AIM. And we contrived this plan where she was going to come to our school where we went to school, Cherokee. She was going to go to the front office, tell them that she's my cousin, and this is terrible, but had a, we had a relative die. They call me to the office. We go in, go into this happens, guidance counselor, Jim Hanna, and um, she's in there from another school. Guidance counselor leaves us alone. I rub my eyes a bit. This is terrible. And then this guidance counselor comes back in. I'm like, oh, yeah, we've got to go or whatever. She was 18. I was 18. We go, and as we're leaving, he's like, hey, just so you know, you're 18. You could have just signed yourself out. Like, you didn't need to do all this. <laughs> so you knew it was a Yeah. Hey, I don't know that they do that anymore. I still think you need parental signatures now, even if you're 18. At 18? Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, the world's changed. The world's changed. Massively. Yeah. Well, we sound really old when we say that, but. But it's, you know, and for, for those who don't know. I'm it changes 39, faster. You're 38? 37. Oh. Yeah, I'll be 38 in December. You're a young oh. pup. Young pup. I know, one grade below you. Dude, but it has, life has changed massively. Like, or they always, like, especially with technology, we always talk about how as time progresses, like technology, the rate of techno technological improvements increases. That's in life in general. And obviously the coronavirus is, I, I think has actually, it's progressed a lot of things in ways that they were going to progress, right? Mm -hmm. Like maybe my mom was never going to have to use Zoom or maybe she was one day. But she does now. Like, yeah. it was going to happen. Like, people were, you know, the grandparents that were the late movers on, like, buying from Amazon yeah. or grocery delivery are doing it now. Um, but you, that's definitely not the biggest change. I, I, so I think a lot of the changes are, uh, they were coming anyway, like a lot of those smaller changes. But um, I'll tell you what, dating right now mm -hmm. is non-existent. It's, it's impossible. I was thinking, I've never been great at... at um, meat cutes you know like just picking a girl up in the grocery store or whatever but it's a whole hell of a lot harder even than it was before when you've got masks covering half your face and you know when you're talking to somebody that you're not used to talking to or, or you're just not engaged in a conversation with and the man like i guess you don't realize how much you normally rely on like reading lips a little bit for not context sure. and, and, and yeah and ex facial expressions so imagine going up to a girl like in the grocery store and just, yeah. <laughs> what I <know. laughs> like you can't even or or like i think of things i noticed like in my life you know like her smile or other things like you don't really get to see that you know what i mean it's uh it's weird it's what are you thinking about here in the, the second third 
Um, stick. Really mellowed out. I mean that that pepper um, pepper pepper is gone. Is gone. Completely it's, gone. It, it's creamy. It's I don't know if you're like nutty. Like I'm getting like hazelnut. Like I don't know why, but I, this is a new one for me. But um, like I feel like I'm getting warm brownies. Okay. Well, I and you know what I, I get a bread I get a bread taste, so I could I could yeah. see that. And I'm pairing mine with uh, the diet cream soda. And like I was telling you uh, a couple minutes ago, the last two or three times I've had the judge, just circumstantially, I was drinking iced tea. So I was getting like that tea leaf kind of, you know, uh, a nuance. But the, the vanilla and the cream soda is like just bringing out these sweet, caramely, like the natural sweetness in, in the wrapper. It's just really, really highlighting it. And it's very enjoyable smoke. Slow burning smoke. I mean, just... But but I'm happy. Like when a cigar is good, slow burning is good. Yeah, we um. I got. Did you get an absentee ballot yet to vote? Mm-hmm. I, mine just came today. Are you gonna vote um, remote? Are you gonna go in? Because I, I think I what think I read, we're gonna go in. We have a polling place literally. Right but they're changing the polling place, places. Oh, you know what? I was. That's a great good point. Talking about coronavirus, ours was in a a uh, retirement home. So we <laughs> You're not going to a retirement home. I don't think. Yeah. I but what I, the other that. thing is, I was going to vote in person just because I, I don't know why I'm a. I like taking written notes. I like yeah. where I can. Like just I'm I like touching feeling manual. Um, but then I read that even in person, it's not going to be on the booth. It's going to be a paper ballot anyway. I think if I read it correctly. But don't so they want to cut down on paper? Don't they want to cut down on paper too? Like now I'm touching, you're touching, they're touching. No, but it's better to it's better than everybody touching the same buttons because then they'd have to wipe the buttons every mm-hmm. time. So it makes sense. So I think I, I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're doing it all paper. So then I was thinking to myself that what's the difference? Because they're going to probably mail it somewhere from wherever you go in person to the paper. I'm going to mail it, mail it, mail it. And I don't believe in conspiracies typically. So. No. And from what I heard, they were doing mail in ballots like when the Postal well, Service was delivering okay, through the so, Civil War. So, the, yeah, they said that. Now, here's the, here's the one anecdote, I suppose, that to contradict it a little bit is I was in the Marine Corps. Mm-hmm. And so. The first election I was allowed to vote in was 04. I turned 18 just after the 2000 election, like a month after. Um, so in 04, I was stationed in Kanoe Bay, Hawaii. Mm. And I did get a, a absentee ballot sometime about a month after the election was over. So, <laughs> you know, so I, I get people's fears, but I, I'd like to think, that, you know, we talked about things coming a long way rather quickly. It seems like everything's pretty organized right well, now. Well, that's what's funny, like... We can, you know, we can order things from Amazon and they can, if you time it right, literally it can be there the next day. But well, the same day. But we're worried about, like, votes getting, you know, to, to a place. And not, you know, not to make it political, whatever side you, you want, but it's... Yeah, no. How I mean, can technology be amazing in one aspect, but then we're, like, afraid that it's not going to work in this in this right. end? It's, and there's always human intervention. People worry about fraud, but I right. guess that's always... Isn't that... Wouldn't that be... A, I'm sure there's been fraud in politics since there's been politics. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but uh, some politicians have their own agenda. Yeah. Um, Again, not 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 to sway anyone politically. You know, I, I think after after seeing some of the debates and and whatever side you're on, I don't know that they have you know me and you, the common guy. Like, yeah, you know, I don't think we nearly make enough money to be a blip on the radar <laughs> for, for anyone to be like. I need to know what these guys. You know, <laughs> what these? Guys. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, yeah. You're not swaying my. Oh, let me go get my my ballot out of the box. Um, but that's another cool thing about cigars, because your political agenda, conspiracy theorist, whatever, you can all sit down and and, and have a smoke and, and enjoy. Yeah, and then disagree about the stick. Exactly. No, I don't taste pepper. I feel like it's I funny. I, I was a little worried us having two different shapes, you know. And I think your local tobacconist had had actually recommended that you get a non non box pressed one because he likes the flavor. Yeah, better. and I think he had just gotten them in and wants to sell and them a little to bit too, which is good. But he asked, he you know, when, when I went and um, it's speaking of how things have changed with the coronavirus, um, this tobacco shop, which I don't frequent all the time, but have been you know a few times, and I like their selection. They will not let you touch anything. So literally, if, one, in, in the, the humidor, since, since, since the coronavirus. coronavirus. Yeah. Like usually I could go in and pick it up and like literally flip the wrapper up and smell a little bit. Obviously, they don't want you doing that now. But you have to be masked. He's masked. He has a clean uh, basket. He walks with you. You point to what you want. He takes it and puts it in the basket. Like you don't even wow. touch it. So a lot of those. But 
Does that ever, I don't know. But it, it, it ruins the experience, experience in one way, but then it enhances it in another way because I get to ask him like 15 questions about it and he's not mad at me. And there's right. no time thing because it's one at a time. So maybe there's two or three guys waiting. But, you know, he was like, oh, you know, how do you like, you know, as we're talking about flavor it, profiles. Though. I'm picturing it kind of like. It was very know, sterile. It was weird. Well, well, I'm picturing, you know, when you go to the bathroom, like when you're, especially when, when you're guys younger. In the bathroom with you and they're like holding the basket and stuff. <laughs> Like, can let me hold that for you. No, no, but it's probably been a minute, right, since either of us have been to a club. But remember when you're younger and you go in some places and then they've got the random concierge there yeah. in the bathroom and they want to wipe your hand for you? Yeah. I don't know why I'm picturing that. And like, it's always the most annoying thing because I know how to wash my hands. I know how to dry my hands. I don't want to need to tip you a dollar for me washing my hands. Uh, and that's what it feels. I don't know why. No, like, I just want to be like, get out. Of, ah, let me walk around. Let me And, and that's true. And, you know, and sometimes you're like, oh, well, you know, I'll wait until next time to ask. But but on this day, like literally, he was like, well, have you had any of the My Father line? I said, yeah, oh, I really love the judge. So he, you know, I got a couple other things from my father. And he's like, you know what? We just got the non-box press judge. He's like, you should definitely get it. So that's been in did my you humidor. Get it? You I did. did. It's, it's been resting in my humidor since probably April or May. But because yeah. I've had other, you know, I've had other box press, so I'm kind of bummed we're not smoking at the same time. But I'm, I don't know why. I'm excited that we're both having a similar experience because the, I, I heard between box press and yeah. you could get a really different flavor profile. It sounds like ours have been pretty steady, pepper at the same time, mellow at the same time. I want to so do a side by side on that one day because we should, yeah, we could because I don't, I don't know if I'd buy it. Yeah, and I remember you even saying like you're not sure if you like trust your 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 flavor profile yet. But it's not even that. It's like, do they taste? You know, like that would be tough though. How do you go back and forth? And then are you tasting? If this I know. is stronger, am I tasting that as I hit something more mild? Right, like trying to do a side by side taste comparison of whiskey and something else. And but I, then again, just, that's a little different too because you and I were just talking about that. We've had days where we've literally had back to back four cigars different tasting and i don't like you know we weren't in those moments we probably weren't trying to be that mindful of the taste anyway true we're just enjoying the stick but like the media noche tasted like a media noche the the, the infused tasted like an infused like it, right. i didn't get like crossover cross contamination so <clears throat> we're getting pretty deep into the second third um flavors are staying consistent for mm -hmm. me through the second third creamy smoky same for you nutty ready um so let's call it here and come back for uh, the wrap-up. When we get into the final third, we'll come back and, and give some final thoughts on the stick. Absolutely. So we are in the final third, and we both had the same revelation at the same time. So our sticks were different sizes. Yours was a little bit longer than mine to start, I think, right? Think um, or no, mine was a little bit longer long, to mine, start. Mine was, yeah. Sure yeah. Was and then so naturally, like you were getting through that first third a little bit faster than me. Um, but then we caught up or yeah, I caught you played, up, you played catch up. um, not, not on purpose. So I don't know, you know, maybe it's just natural due to the different Vitola, just kind of mm -hmm. different pace caught up. And then what's interesting is we, when we caught up, we had about the same amount left. Um, you were refilling your drink. Uh, we both had our cigars sitting down for a minute. I picked mine up and I said, Oh dude, I think the pepper's back. And you grabbed yours and you're like, yeah, it's back. And it's consistent there, you know, as, as I'm getting into that final third. Right. Um, what about you? Oh, absolutely. The other thing that I think is really amazing is obviously we're, we're down to the uh, final third. We're going to take that, that secondary, um, my father, beautiful band off. And then since we kind of had two naked sticks, even though the same stick, mine was box press aged, yours was not. Yours is significantly darker, the wrapper. It is. Than mine. But um, I'm, I'm happy that we're, we're getting the same flavor profile from it. I think that's interesting. It is interesting because I was worried about that. I was worried if we had different flavor profiles. We're different people too. Was it real? Or is it real? We're just yeah. different people. Describe, you know. So it's interesting that, uh, and we don't always agree. Like we, we, on more than one occasion, have had the same stick, same size, same exact stick, and just you know get little different things from it. Um, I think it was with the year the rat was one where right. at one point I think you were getting pepper and I wasn't or right. vice versa. Um, and I think and pear, so, whatever we drink with it, I think has an influence. Oh, yeah. Whatever you probably you eat. Were, you were on cream soda. I was on a, a diet green tea, mm -hmm. um, which I think there's some similar similarities yeah. there. They're sweeter, lighter in flavor. So Because I, I did know. switch up my drink now, I'm now from the cream to I got a birch beer. So heavier you know, birch flavor, but still, but I'm, I'm kind of going in and out of the pepper profile. I feel like two puffs yeah. is creamy. <laughs> then I get knocked with one, one healthy I dose of pepper. I don't know what that pepper. is. I, I, I refuse to believe that they like 
crafted it, you know, that in depth. I know when um, it's rolled, it's rolled to be smoked a certain direction. You know what I mean? So and, and the flavor profile is meant to change. I just I refuse to believe that per puff that's really happening that way. So I don't know. Something's or playing tricks with us. We're getting out of that second, third mild and we're moving into the heavier. It's a little blend. yeah, a little blend. I don't know what it is. I even find it's do you feel it's stronger? Still delicious. It's delicious, but I feel like it's even like I would it say it was stronger. medium to now I'm getting a medium full, like a I would heavier. Say, I would go from for me, I would go mild to medium. Mm-hmm. But um and it's really nice clean burn. Mm-hmm. No construction issues. It's just it's a it's a very well made stick. But we were talking too, um, not related to the stick on our last break, what we we're doing this weekend, and it's just funny how Again, me, single, no kids, and live alone, and you, um, obviously, three kids who you allow to live with you. Um, <laughs> and, my, and my wife, and who graciously wife, st- stays Who graciously allows you to live there. Some, um, some days. And but yeah, five people in the house. Boy, are things different. So what, do you, what are you doing this weekend? Five people in the house, three kids during a pandemic. Well, my kids are at soccer practice uh, today they uh, they all have games Saturday morning, which we we make kind of a, a big deal of. We we have fun. We we go to all the games, and we'll, if they're having games at the same time, we we switch. Do around. they all play in the same kind of field? Same, yeah, my oldest is at a bigger field, but right in the same vicinity, and, and he's big enough to kind of be on his own for the most part. But um, uh, we'll, Wait, we'll you travel mean, from. You, how how is your oldest son? Nine. Not yeah, your nine, nine year old. Nine, seven, and gonna be six in December. Your nine year old that's four inches shorter than me. <laughs> yeah. Five, five inches? Four. Five one. Yeah. Like five one, five two, so hundred and thirty pounds. <laughs> big, he's a big pup. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so yeah. That, that was my stats when I was twelve. <laughs> it's he's he's gonna be a big boy. Um but you know what? Talking about entertainment during yeah, the What are you doing this weekend? So besides the, the games, yeah, we'll, we'll probably do the game Saturday. Probably have a little fire, you know, Saturday night, and then Sunday we try to just relax. Like honestly, my wife needs it. I try to get the kids out of the house solo for for a little bit to give her some respite. Um, last weekend we did the uh, aquarium in Camden, and we had done it a number of times, but it's always so crowded. So. I guess to take a positive yeah, spin delay. off coronavirus, they only let twenty five percent capacity in. So you re- you make a reservation on the computer on the interwebs, <laughs> but we were able to do everything. So you know, the Camden Aquarium is not sponsoring this yet, um, but uh, like you know, my kids fed uh, porpoises. No rays. What are the stingrays? Okay, like we fed stingrays. Uh, my my daughter has a really big fear of sharks and there was you know the, the you can pet and touch the baby sharks and stuff the small sharks so that was really good to see her kind of go past the fear of sh- sharks and actually touching one um so i guess if you're going to in a weird way take something good from coronavirus when you can schedule an outing and when things are open they're not as crowded i think you're conscious of space and, and distancing um, tough to see all the kids with masks walking around and trying to keep everything clean. Don't touch this. Hand sanitize that. I'm not sure how good it is for the fish to be hand sanitized when they're touching them. <laughs> the, I don't know if the alcohol is good for them. but um, So, yeah, I mean, doing family things is, is tough. But um, after soccer Saturdays, we've been going to uh, Mr. Bill's um, in, in Winslow Township. Another, It's a great place to eat, and it's they only do outside seating. So. Yeah, it's going to be interesting future. to see how it changes as the weather changes. That's true. Both from a standpoint of as it gets harder to do things outside, and then also from the standpoint of just how the virus progresses uh, Absolutely. As, as we get into Colder, later in the fall yeah. and winter and everything. So, so what uh, what do you have planned for the weekend? Um, probably primarily swipe left, um, occasionally swipe right. Yeah. Um, Hoping that someone else swipes right as well. <laughs> Right's good, right? Depends. Yeah, yeah but yeah. On most of the theory, Right's good. So... Um, no, I mean, for me, honestly, man, I, we've talked about it before. I've really gotten into walking. <laughs> I feel like I'm so old. Um, I'll probably wow, go on a, helpful. I'll go on a nice, uh, eight mile jaunt at some point. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. Remember making fun of the, the old guy, mid age guys walking and now that's us. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm actually, you know, I've been, I've been putting it off, but I'm excited to go through my drawers and, and, you know, clear out some old clothes, the goodwill run kind of deal. Been putting that off, you know. I don't want too much excitement too early in the pandemic. So, any cool shirts, give them my way. My son will be in them uh, next, <laughs> next summer. Any cool tees. Well, that is kind of exciting, actually, because in a couple of years, I'll get his hand me downs. I was going to say, his, <laughs> he'll get some cool shoes and outgrow them, and 
Mr. Rx <laughs> up on the list. <laughs> yeah, he's got, What's he's, his shoe size? Do you know his shoe size? He's a men's eight and a half. Almost a oh men's my nine. God. Yeah. I'm I'm ten and a half. Oh, so in a couple of years. Or no, eleven. Right. Eleven. Okay. Yeah, we're in eleven. Yeah, I've grown. And he's nine. <laughs> and he's nine. <laughs> All right. Anything um I'm actually almost done. Uh this I'm far. going between creamy and smooth and, and peppery and, and, and flavorful. But again, I mean I'm finishing it up creamy. Great construction. You know, we're we're both um real big into the V notch cut to kind of keep the integrity of that cap and on some sticks, you know, a third of the way through, you're you're you know trying to fix it and do that. But I mean, aside from a little bit of trouble lighting it in the initial stages, it, it's kept a razor sharp burn and uh, really enjoyable. Like I said, it's it's one of my favorite sticks. Well, we won't so. get into it, but I don't I don't know that it's fair to say that like on some sticks we have cap issues. I think on some specific sticks yeah, we have cap that's issues. True. That's I, true. I don't think that's that's not like. Good premium. We smoke a lot of good premium handled cigars and do not have cap issues, um, except on a couple particular brands. That's fair. That's a fair statement. So maybe we'll do an episode. Yeah. <laughs> and even yeah. on some of the higher end lines of so, specific stuff. I would say I'm I'm finishing up creamy. That's how I'm going to call it. Mm-hmm. Even though I am still getting some spice, I would say if I really had to characterize it, though, I would say first third creamy, mild. Second third pretty spicy. Um, not, um, I wouldn't call it like full, full flavored, like went from mild to medium for me. Um, pretty spicy. And the final third has been dancing back and forth a little bit. Yeah, I would agree. I'm getting, I think I'm getting a little more spice than you are. And I wonder if it's a difference between the aging process and the box press maybe. versus first non. I'd actually, uh, maybe I'll, I'll go see, look it up a little bit to see if that's, if that holds true in some of the, uh, expert. Yeah, you know critiques of this, but um, all right. Would you smoke it again? Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, I, I I think I had that answer probably before I even smoked. Just knowing that I've had, I don't know, probably four different my father my father cigars. Oh my god, my father cigars, my father cigars, and um, I I didn't expect anything less from this. Yeah, no, it's a it's a good same for you. Same for me. Well, and you already knew. And it makes, but it makes me excited because I know uh, my father's putting out. You know, I remember when the judge was the new my father stick, and I think one or two's come out since then. So it's always nice to. uh, And then, as we talked about in the first podcast, the lineage of cigars. It makes me want to expand and go to you know the Jaime Garcia stuff, some of the stuff that that the father brand of of this brand uh, does. You know. But oh, all right. Well, wrap it up. Absolutely. Next time. Thanks for smoking with us, and as always, long ashes. Stay smoky, friends. Thanks for checking out the Cedar Culture Podcast. If you'd like that episode, go ahead, tap, like, follow, subscribe, whatever it is on your platform of choice. And if you are on YouTube, hit that bell as well to be notified of new episodes. It really helps us out. We appreciate it. And then don't forget to head over to Instagram and Facebook and follow us as well. Do it. Do it.